As a result of SARS-CoV-2, or COVID-19, we moved teaching online in the middle of the spring 2020 semester. We kept it online for the summer semester, and as Babson is preparing for the fall and the return to campus, I'm sure we're all wondering what that will look like. I'm Dave Blodgett, an assistant professor of biology and biotechnology in the math and science division at Babson College. And like many of you, my spring and summer has looked a lot like this. WebEx recordings, uh, WebEx calls, WebEx meetings. So while I still have questions and I know things will be different, I'm really looking forward to coming back to campus in the fall. Let's take a look at what you can expect to be different. For the fall semester, faculty who are on campus will teach in one of three types of classrooms. WebFlex enhanced classrooms, standard WebFlex classrooms, and standard classrooms. You may even be teaching from one of Babson's Innovation Pods, a small studio designed for remote teaching. Safety measures will be part of the classroom environment like physical distancing, personal protective equipment, and available hand sanitizer. Signage has been placed around campus and in the classrooms reminding students where they may sit, stand, and move in order to maintain safe social distancing. Students and faculty will be required to wear face masks and disposable face masks will be provided if needed. Most of the redesigned classrooms and innovation pods will feature multiple displays, so you'll be able to see your students just like they were in the classroom with you. You'll also be able to run presentations, display documents and other media, and make annotations. For faculty who are not on campus, remote lectures can also be live streamed into the classroom. Babson's IT department has been working diligently to ensure audiovisual technology is working to the high standard Babson holds itself to and classroom microphones are capturing clear audio, even with face masks being worn. Equipment will vary from classroom to classroom, and specific training provided by the ATI Center will demonstrate how the technology can be used to engage all students, remote or in-person, equally. So, returning to the classroom is going to be somewhat different. We're still going to be working with students remotely, but we'll also have some students right in front of us. And so, having that sense of being in the classroom space um, gives us the opportunity to work with multiple audiences and um, we'll be able to deliver our course content, engage in class discussions with the uh, enthusiasm that we're all used to. And just to sort of change the pace, I think will help us to engage with all of our students. The specific training on different classroom types, cleaning procedures, and techniques to ensure equity between on-campus and remote students, and how to balance synchronous and asynchronous learning will be provided in the beginning of August. Additionally, you should visit the Return to Campus site to familiarize yourself with the details, and be sure to read all Return to Campus communications carefully for trainings and other information. And be sure to ask questions as needed. As a campus, and a community, we've made a lot of changes in order to safeguard the entire Babson community. The fall semester will be different for sure, but knowing we're all in this together as one Babson makes it a little easier. As more information becomes available, it will be distributed to you through your division chairs. Thank you for listening, and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone this fall.